Hello, good morning. <laughs> Today is a uh, happy equinox, everybody. It is um, the autumn equinox down here in Australia. So, that, and it is the spring equinox up in the northern hemisphere and uh, so happy equinox that means that we have equal night and equal day today at both ends of the world and uh, as you can see <laughs> put another filter on uh, morning Kerry how are you uh, so I thought I'd come in and do my uh, waxing card um, reading for the week for you to know where to sort of focus your energy in the next week and uh, obviously we're using the Moonology cards from Yasmin Boland which I love and um, this week uh, there's four cards that I've pulled for us and uh, I'm being followed around by stars and things hopefully that's not too distracting for you so just <laughs> just go with it <laughs> so this um, this week I've pulled four cards because the four card spread for uh, a waxing moon which is when we're moving a, towards the um, full moon because next week is full moon um, that's uh, for March and uh, that is this energy is all about uh, you know we've already done our intentions for the month and so we're moving towards releasing we're moving towards the next the next lot of releasing that we need to do. So this, um, yeah, this this week is is a really good one for making sure that your intentions have been set because we started that last week and we want to kind of capitalize on that. So make sure you're focusing on your intentions, what it is that you'd like to create. Um, and this week we're moving into the energy of the full moon again. Well, getting there next week so good morning Jody oh thank you this is one of my favorite necklaces little uh, crystals with um, the tree of life which I love so let's get into this nice quick little card reading for you today just to get your energy focused on what it is that you need to um, to be doing so remembering that our questions for the waxing moon are a little bit different to the waning cycle so what's rising up in me between now and the full moon is the first question and our card that we got today the card that I pulled today for us is that the energy is gaining momentum so ooh, can you see that beautiful hopefully you can see the, the card there with the beautiful waxing interestingly we got the waxing moon um, the first two cards were both waxing moon cards so I thought that was really cool because when you pull a, a the moon card that is relevant to the actual cycle it has even more power to it so we have got the waxing moon card while we're in the waxing moon cycle and the energy is gaining momentum so as you can imagine when we're moving towards a full moon things are getting more and more and more intense, more and more and more energy. So we're moving towards the energy of the full moon, which has a great deal of energy. So make sure that you're um, focusing on that. What do, I, what do I need to do moving forward? What is it that I need to do to keep moving in the direction of my dreams? I always get, um, a little sign from the universe from the animal spirit guides when I'm moving in the right direction it is uh, the willy wagtail usually comes and visits me when I'm doing my ride or when I'm walking and the w willy wagtail is mo always moving always got his tail going and so if you are um, wondering whether or not you're going in the right direction or whether you need to keep whether you need to take action then those sorts of signs from the universe will come up for you like willy wagtail or kangaroo or wallaby they both encourage us to move forward because did you know that the kangaroo and the wallaby cannot move backwards it's not possible for them to actually move backwards because of their tail and the way that their feet point so they can't actually go backwards um, so it's it's a really beautiful sign for us if you happen to see a kangaroo or you really resonate with kangaroo or wallaby 
that you need to keep moving forward. Always keep moving forward, keep looking forward. Um, you know, and they say that, you know, if you're looking in the rear vision mirror, then you are not moving, you're not driving the car properly because you're not looking forward, are you? And you need to be looking forward all the time. So that's our first energy. Um, energy of momentum is increasing. So keep moving forward. That is our first card. Second card is answering the question of what's the solution to any challenge that you face right now? And the solution is to have faith in your dreams. So we've got another waxing crescent moon card. And this card is reminding us to have faith in our dreams. So it marries beautifully with that first card of the energy gaining momentum. Because obviously, if you're focusing on your dreams, then you're going to be moving forward rather than focusing on the things that you don't have in your life. And we spend a lot of time focusing on what we don't have, don't we? <laughs> we all do. I do it sometimes. So we just need to get into the habit of practicing, focusing on and having faith in the dreams and desires that we have in our life. So things like affirmations, things like writing down your intentions, things like journaling, you know, getting into the habit of focusing more on your dreams and goals and desires. One of the things that works really nicely if you're wanting to get into the habit of this is to journal each day on your dream day. So it's called My Dream Day um, Journaling and you right at the top of the page, you just have to do one page a day um, and write my dream day and then you just write about what your dream day would be like or what a dream day for you would be like. So, you know, would you be relaxing in a hammock? Would you be drinking martinis? Would you be, um, you know, playing with your kids? Would you be on the beach? Would you be, you know, working with clients that are really fun? Would you be, um, you know, selling products that you love? Would you be making products that you love? Would you be um, dancing, singing, creating things, um, in, being inspiring, getting up on stage, talking to people? What is it that would, would be included in your dream day? So this is one of the exercises that I include when I do my coaching program to encourage people to start dreaming, start thinking about what it is that you would like to have in your life rather than focusing all your time on the things that you don't like in your life. And we need to focus on those things too to give us leverage so that we move away from the things that we don't like. But we must have that magnetic something to draw us towards what it is that we want in our lives. So that's a really cool exercise to try. The third card is the advice for this week. Our advice for this week is a fiery climax approaches. So the full moon in Aries card is really interesting because it says that a fiery climax approaches and that usually indicates that whenever you're moving towards your goals and your dreams and your passions, some people in your space might have a bit of a problem with you changing. So there's always the possibility that they will struggle with your change that you're making. Um, you know, whenever we're doing personal development work of any sort, whenever we're shifting and changing and transforming, some of the people around us will push back a little bit, sometimes a lot. So be aware that in this next week or so, there might be a fiery climax, a bit of a discussion, let's say. Um, let's not give it too much energy, but just know that you are becoming stronger and more powerful, more empowered, more centered, more aligned, and you will be able to, in the next week or so, handle that climax, that discussion, that, that pushback a little bit with greater ease because that's what happens when we transform. We transform, we have a little bit of pushback, we get more strong in our the way that we're going to be and the way that we want to be and we move forward, we take our steps forward. So just be aware that that is the advice for the next week or so. And the third card is the final outcome. So the final outcome between now and the full moon. So remember the full moon is next Saturday-ish. So that is, uh, we need to just look at the bigger picture. 
So the, the card of full moon in Sagittarius is all about looking at the bigger picture, seeing the the greater good, the greater goal that you have, the thing that is, you know, really, like I was saying about having faith in your dreams, be mindful that sometimes we need to go more general with what we're talking about instead of getting too specific and bogged down in the details. So one of the things that Abraham Hicks talks about, um, I don't know if, you've, if you know about Abraham Hicks, but um, when Esther Hicks channels the divine being, um, Abraham, beings, Abraham, she talks about going general when we are not happy with something. So if you had a bad day or things are not going very well, you just say, oh, I had a bit of a bad day. But then you talk really specifically about the things that are going well. So you talk about your... Um, the great shoes that you bought or yesterday I bought this amazing pair of bathers and it's really exciting because it's the first time I've bought a new pair of bathers in years and years and years and years and so I was very excited to go and try on bathers um, and got caught quite um, caught up in that excitement of a having the money and b being excited to actually buy um, something new which is always exciting so I'm sharing and getting excited about that thing that one thing in my day that was really cool and minimize minimize and generalize the thing that is not going so well and that way you will actually move more into the direction of things that are going well for you uh, it's a really interesting process um, and it works really well it's amazing um, people will think it's funny that you're not focusing on the drama in your life anymore but the less that you focus on the drama, the more that you'll bring things in that are not dramatic. And, uh, oh, it's getting really sunny here, <laughs> which is great. I'm trying to move so that you can see me. But anyway, that was our four cards, and uh, um, I hope that that was helpful to you. So remember, this week, the energy is gaining momentum. So focus on the energy gaining momentum and know and trust that that's happening. Have faith in your dreams, lovely earth angels, because your dreams are coming true and the more you focus on them, the better. A fiery climax is approaching. Be mindful of that and know that you are in the right space to handle it. You, That's why it's coming up. That's the key. When it's coming up like that, it means that you're actually in the right space to handle it, you know? So be aware of that fiery um, energy that might come up from other people and then look at the bigger picture because the bigger picture is you becoming a more transformed, more aligned and more amazing being. So I look forward to talking to you very soon again. Um, I will see you soon. Yes, Kerry, that's right. Uh, the kangaroo is, is, um, is all about moving forward. Kangaroo and wallaby. It's very cool. Um, we can talk more about spirit guides on another time. <laughs> That's I have a course actually that I run um, about spirit, animal spirit guides and what they mean and how to work with them. So um, maybe we need to talk. So Deborah, nice to see you. Good morning and good morning to you all. Have a fantastic week and happy autumn equinox to the southern hemisphere and happy uh, spring equinox to the northern hemisphere people. Bye for now. See ya.